Hey everyone, I have here today a desert rose. So this is a beautiful bladed crystal of gypsum. And this is a type of rock that we call an evaporite. Evaporites are rocks that occur when evaporation occurs on a shallow lake or seabed. Sometimes entire oceans in the past have gotten sealed off in, in a basin and over time they just evaporate. And oceans are full of dissolved minerals. Imagine all of the rain falling on all the mountains, dissolving a little bit of mineral from all those places and flowing into a, an ocean and concentrating all those elements. And then as time as it gets super saturated, as the water goes away and it evaporates, eventually those elements start to form new minerals. And we call those evaporite minerals. Gypsum is one of the important evaporite minerals many times forms in those types of situations. This is a desert rose which is made of blades of selenite which is a variety of gypsum except they grow in clusters and each of the blades grows at an angle to one another and so as they grow on top of each other in the space that's available on top of sand grains which are present in the area of the rock that the water's flowing through, then they, they create these clusters of crystals. Now there may be thousands upon thousands of individual mineral crystal blades in this single piece of desert rose. And that's what gives it its unique detail and structure. It's very delicate. Some of the tips of these have actually broken off from handling too much, but when you find these, they can get very large Places like Mexico where there's a high evaporation rate and you get lakes where you get these things forming. Here in Oklahoma we have something similar that forms. At the Great Salt Plains National Wildlife Refuge is a large basin that evaporates every spring and summer. And that leaves behind beautiful blade-shaped selenite crystals, very similar to the crystals in our desert rose. Except those actually incorporate sand into each large blade. They're not quite as um, plentiful as, as these would be because there's not as much gypsum dissolved in the water but we can go out there and we can dig these beautiful blade shaped selenite crystals that are forming just below the surface of the sand as water evaporates through the sand every sp spring and summer and fall and we can go back out at the beginning of the following year and dig them and it's perfectly okay because that summer new ones will form so good hunting, good digging for roses and other forms of gypsum.